Spice Rat! Where you at? <laughs>
So in the evening time when you get home, your expectation is to what? Have her wait on you hand and foot? No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. I swear you said you have five kids. Let's see. No, you have three kids. Okay. So you have three kids under three kids under ten. And so they get off the bus. Probably let's say three o'clock. She has to entertain them until they go to karate, which means she's getting them uh, dressed for karate, probably giving them a snack, starting off homework, that kind of stuff. And then she takes them to karate. She participates in the class since she's there. She brings them home and then you have to get them to bed. Now, if she was home and she wanted you to put them to bed, would that be a problem? Is it just because she's gone? say that maybe five nights a week for a karate class could be considered excessive yes but I also mind you I'm not a stay-at-home mom never have been but I had one and I can also see why it's important that a mom has an outlet so that she can be a better mom to the kids and a better wife to you now if you feel like her her uh, participation is negatively affecting your relationship with her, your closeness with her, your intimacy with her, then that's the discussion you need to have. It shouldn't be that like, you can't do this because I have to wash utensils. You can't do this because I can't get the kids to bed. That's a you problem, sir. You're just as much that parent as the, the mom is. And if she can get him to bed, you can get him to bed. What means what that means to me is that they don't see you as any type of authoritative figure, which means you need to participate more. Because why does she have to sacrifice for you? But where are you sacrificing at? You're acting as if putting your kids to bed every night is a sacrifice from you. That's your duty, sir. You don't get a cookie for that. Them are your kids just like they're her kids. And the fact that she's there with them all day and then you come in and all you have to do is the bedtime routine and you can't seem to handle that? Trash! Trash! I don't, I don't, I don't care what you have to say. Silence. Silence. That's ridiculous. And no, I don't feel bad for you. And honestly, even though I would, I would have probably said a compromise was for your wife to do two to three times a week. Until you step up and do more and show her, like, I don't even think you need to show her. You just need to realize that these are your kids just as much as they are hers. And until then, I say, baby girl, do your five days because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I, I just can't stand when men take the stance of like, I'm having to babysit or I'm having to watch my kids. Yeah, fool, they're your kids. Just because you make the check don't mean when you come home from work, it's over. The kids don't be over. And until them kids are in bed, your job continues too. So if you think you have a second job and that's how you feel when you come home, what do you think she feels like when she's been there all day? Are you paying her for the overtime? Because really, if, it, if, it, if we're adding it up, that means she's supposed to watch them from the same time you're at work since those hours, those hours match a full day, working day, right? So when, she, when the kids get home, are you paying her for those overtime hours? Or is that just expected? You basically are offering her a salary pay, which is nothing. And then she gets nothing when she does overtime, except for her karate class. And you want to talk about it. You want to have a problem with it? Somebody done told you wrong, punk. I have no sympathy for you, sir. No sympathy. No sympathy. I did at one point because I thought, okay, maybe five days is excessive. But not now because now you don't piss me off. Y'all always walking around here thinking you doing someone a favor for doing what you're supposed to do. That's your, du that's your duty. It's your job, just like it is hers. And guess who's going to karate tomorrow? Your wife. What's up? That's all I got to say about that. You see how this man that got me upset? I don't appreciate that, Lone Hubby. I don't appreciate it. The, the thing about it is I... See, I read the titles of these and then I just pull them. I don't read the whole article because I want to have the raw review or the raw, uh, you know, feelings and emotions about it. And I just can't, I just, it brings up other things because I see this all the time with my clients. I, I, most of you guys know I work with first time moms. And so a lot of the dads that are involved or still around, 
they think that it like they should win an award when they change a diaper or they've babysat. Like you can't babysit your own kid. Stuff like this, this attitude where they just feel like they are entitled to all of this extra because they do a little bit extra, but she gets nothing. It bothers me. It really does. I just, I personally think it's great. I'm always encouraging my moms, like find an art class, take a dancing class, or just make sure every week you have a girl's night or something that you do for yourself because when mom is happy, everybody's happy. The household is, runs better. The kids are taken care of better. The husband normally gets more attention. But everybody needs to contribute to mommy's happiness. She can't be the one contributing to everybody else and her cup never gets refilled, you know? And that's what we see. It's, it's been this way from the beginning of time, but I feel like we gonna stop that in 2020. And you, Mr. Lone Hubby, we cutting you out. You cancel. You are canceled. Thanks, Spice Rack. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate y'all so, so much. I know y'all could be anywhere else, but you came here and kicked it with your girl, and I really appreciate that. Now, if you're not a part of the Spice Rack, huh? What are you doing? Come on, what are you waiting for? Get on over here. Feel free to push that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, let everybody know what we got going on over here. We be having fun over here. So come on, be a part of the Spice Rack. <laughs> so y'all I will be back at you soon I appreciate y'all sticking with me with these changes giving me all this good feedback sending me links I appreciate y'all y'all are great so please keep that up I will make sure that I shout you out if you would like to be shouted out but just let me know put it on there put your name or what you want me to call you and if you don't then I'll just assume that you want to be anonymous however I will come back soon with another video I'm not sure of what yet but it will be here and hopefully it'll be entertaining and good until then, Spice Rack, y'all have a wonderful day. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. I'll see you later.